So my next question is question number seven. And we have to find the probability of E by F in each of these cases. And here it's given that two coins are tossed once. So total out of this here will be because these are two coins, so these are four outcomes. And our sample space for these will be let's write two heads and two tails, and it's one head. one head one tail one head one tail which gives us the sample space and for the first part even e is tail appears on one coin so tail appears on one coin is plus t th and so it's tail should be on one coin And our next event is F where one coin shows head. So one coin shows head should be HT and TH. And common between these two is HT and TH. So because we have to find the probability of E by F, so probability of E in the section F is 2 by 4 and probability of f is 2 by 4. So this gives us the probability of e by f should be equal to the probability of e in the section f divided by probability of f which is 2 by 4 divided by 2 by 4 that's equal to 1. So that is the probability of e by f in first case. Let's move on, let's move on to the second part. Second part is the even E, no tail appears. So no tail appears is this one. Even F, no head appears is this one. And we don't have anything in common here. So probability of E in the section F is zero. So obviously the probability of E by F there, which is equal to probability of E condition F by probability of F should be equal to zero by p of f that's equal to zero so that is the answer for the second